Hi everyone, thank you all for joining. For the people who don't know me, my name is Lian and I'm the nutritionist and product specialist at Forever Living Products uh, Middle East, okay, HQ in Dubai. And today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic, which is um, I'm going to give you some tips on how to, you know, um, tips for smoking cessation. I know this topic can be very critical for a lot of people. I know a lot of people suffer with the smoking they say that they're not addicted but once they try to stop they find themselves that yes they are addicted and they actually go back to it and they start smoking again so um i'm gonna give you some tips that can really help okay and i really uh, hope that uh, a lot of you will actually um, you know it will be benefit for it will be beneficial for them um to, to try and stick to the, these tips to try and stop smoking. So let's try. Let's start, I mean. Um, okay, so these are the, the, the points we're going to go through. The first one is ugly facts about smoking, um, health risks, the benefits of quitting smoking, and how to quit smoking. Okay, I'm going to give you some points and some tips that you can do and follow. Let's start first with ugly facts. Of course, I'm going to start with the facts so that you know how bad it is and how, um, you know, like it's important uh, to stop smoking and what it actually does to your health. So here are some ugly facts. Tobacco kills more than 7 million people each year. More than 6 million of those deaths are the result of direct tobacco use, while around 890,000 are the result of non-smokers being exposed to secondhand smoke. A single cigarette can actually contain over 4,800 chemicals and 69 of which are known to cause cancer. So these are, you know, like facts and straight facts that shows you uh, that show you that really uh, smoking cigarettes have it has so many um, chemicals and it can actually cause cancer and so many other um, chronic diseases we're gonna go through. So I know a lot of people, they already know this, but still it's good to, to know, to see numbers in front of you. So also share these numbers with your loved ones or, or anyone you know who actually smokes cigarettes. I would like to also mention one thing here that for um, secondhand smoke, it, so for example, if you're a smoker, don't smoke in front of your children or you know your family or anyone who doesn't smoke because they, they can also be exposed to that and it can actually also harm them. All right, so this is, uh, these are some facts. Uh, we're gonna talk about more facts. So the average smoker spends around $1,500 to $3,000 a year on cigarettes. Okay, so instead of, for example, um, saving this amount of money, there you're just spending it on something that is, that is toxic, that is actually harming uh, your health. And 15 billion cigarettes are smoked worldwide every day. It's a very big number, guys. So this is why we're trying to raise awareness. We're trying to help you and give you some tips on how to do uh, and how to smoke uh, to stop smoking. Maybe now. Other facts, so about 69% of smokers want to, quit uh, want to quit completely. How many of you here tried to quit but couldn't uh, really go through with it or are, or are willing to quit? Let me know in the chat. And of course, we're going we're gonna to talk about everything, uh, you know, like the questions I'll answer you later at the end of the presentation. Also, over 30% of cancer could be prevented by avoiding tobacco and alcohol, having a healthy diet and physical activity. So you see guys really like, it can be prevented. Of course, if you lead a healthy lifestyle, you don't smoke, don't drink alcohol a lot, um, eat a healthy diet and physical activity is so important. Also smoking makes the risk of a heart attack 200% more or to 200% to 400% uh, to greater than that of non-smokers, okay? Because it can actually help, um, it can actually act, uh, increase your blood pressure. So this is why it might lead to risk of a heart attack. Also, each cigarette you smoke shortens your life by 14 minutes. So I know these are really ugly facts, but it's important to raise awareness by mentioning uh, all of these numbers. Now, two, let's go into the health risks. So we finished the facts. 
Now let's let's talk about what does smoking and cigarette does to your health. Okay, how does it affect it? First, it um, you you will you will have limited sense of smell. Okay, you won't smell uh, very well. Also, greater risk of chest infections. You feel like your chest is hurting all the time. You might think that maybe your chest is hurting because you're sleeping in the wrong position, or you know, like. Um, uh, you're not exercising enough, but it can actually be maybe because of smoking, even if you're not smoking big uh, quantities of cigarettes, but it's still um, one of the chances is because of, you know, uh, cigarettes. Then also a greater risk of developing cancer, as we all know, greater risk of blindness, greater risk of periodontal or gum disease. So it might really affect um, like, uh, your, your teeth and your gum, also more wrinkles. So this is why you, you will feel like you're aging, um, you know, faster um, than someone who doesn't smoke because, you know, smoking can actually uh, kill collagen in the skin and in your body. Also, you will feel great. Guys, just please make sure your phones are all muted. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. So this is also another uh, image that is really important uh, and that shows what are the, what are the health risks uh, of uh, smoking. So smoking can damage literally every part of the body. As you can see, um, it can damage the, the brain uh, or the also the head and neck. So this is the first uh, part. So you will you will just, you will have cancer in the head or neck, the lung, leukemia in your blood, uh, stomach kidney, pancreas, colon, bladder, and cervix, and also chronic diseases. So not only cancer, this is the cancer part we already know about, but also you can, you can have chronic diseases like stroke, blindness, gum infection. So as you can see from the whole body, from up uh, to down, also the uh, aortic rupture, which is the heart, uh, one of the pains of the heart, I mean, uh, heart disease, pneumonia, hardening of the arteries, chronic lung disease and asthma, reduced fertility, and also hip fracture. So as you can see, literally, it can affect the whole body, the um, all our organs in general. And it's very, very serious, guys. And you need to really take it seriously because you need to also think not about your health only, but think about your loved ones, people who love you. They, they just want to see you you know, healthy, uh, set a good example for your kids, uh, your parents, and everyone around you. Now, um, this is also a lung of a person who smokes. Some, you know, like there are real images. I didn't want to put a real image, but there are real pictures of, um, of a heart that becomes black whenever, you know, someone smokes a lot. And of course, this is the, the, the left part is, some for some like a lung of uh, a person who doesn't smoke please just don't put your uh, camera guys okay thank you because we're recording the presentation now let's talk about benefits of quitting smoking okay what are the benefits of quitting smoking so um i'm gonna tell you like uh, in a short period of time and also on a long uh, period of time so short time in 12 hours, if you stop smoking, the carbon monoxide level in your blood returns to normal. Okay, so this is only if you stop smoking for 12 hours. Then if you stop smoking from two to 12 weeks, your blood circulation and lung function begin to improve. Okay, you're gonna feel much better blood circulation and lung function. You won't feel, you know, this chest pain um, that every time you wake up, you're gonna feel it in your chest. Then after one year, the increased risk of having a heart attack is reduced by half, which is amazing. It's almost, it's almost reversible, you know? And after five years of, of quitting smoking, the risk of a stroke or a heart attack is reduced to the same risk as a person who never smoked. So you still have time to really stop and really take, take care of your health, of your heart and, and all your organs in general, okay? So really, um, like you will feel a difference if you stop and if you quit smoking today. Now, other benefits also of quitting smoking. The first one is that the food is going to taste better because it's known that smoking can actually um, 
you know, change your, your taste buds. Also, you have more energy throughout the day. Okay, you don't feel like lazy or tired all the time. Your breath, clothes, and hair won't smell like smoke. This is very important because when, when you smoke, you don't smell it, but other people actually do. Okay, so this can actually um, be beneficial for you. Also, you are saving money. So it's very important because without really noticing, you are, you are spending a lot of money on cigarettes and on something that is not uh, healthy for your body. So instead of that, you can just put the, that money on the side or you can invest it in something else and something more healthy, like healthier options of food, like going to the gym, just anything that can actually benefit your body. And lastly, you are now more in control of your life and actions now that you are no longer addicted to cigarettes. Okay, because it, it is actually an addiction. So whenever you stop uh, smoking cigarettes, you can actually focus more, uh, more uh, know what you want in life, what you want to do, and just don't feel like you have this urge to just always smoke a cigarette whenever, like uh, even after a meal, or, you know, this is always uh, the excuse that I need to smoke um, a cigarette after a meal just so, to help with digestion. There are so many other ways to help with digestion other than cigarettes and you know, chemicals and nicotine in your body. Now, uh, for, and this is the most important part, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to really quit smoking, okay? I know it's hard, but you can start from somewhere and let's, you know, today can be the day that I can actually really help you. So. What is the treatment? Okay, so there are, as we know, there are a lot of treatment um, right now and alternatives to uh, you know, nicotine. For example, like nicotine replacement therapy, like patches, gums, nasal sprays, inhalers, e-cigarettes, hypnotic, etc. cetera. Of course, I still don't really recommend um, you know, e-cigarettes or other inhalers, but still it is a first step then just to, to completely stop uh, smoking suddenly, you know? So you start slowly, slowly by reducing nicotine. So that way your body doesn't really go into withdrawal. Then you can also do a group therapy. There are a lot of group therapy that you can find online or, or even like, for example, with health coaches that they can help you. They can go uh, like through, with you through goals. They can set goals for you and you can just follow the uh, goals like every week or every two weeks. Also, uh, the real treatment is by motivation, commitment, determination, and of course, effort and support in the struggle to quit smoking. So this is the most important thing, okay? So all the other things, the replacement therapy, they can help, but the, 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 the only solution is, of course, the motivation, commitment. Um, so you need to really have it in you. You really need to say to yourself, this is the time that I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna really take care of myself and um, commit to, to, you know, taking good care of my health. Okay, now um, we're gonna go through other points also on how to quit uh, tobacco. The first one is mind and body. So you may have the best chance of quitting smoking if you prepare your mind and your body to quit, okay? You need to really sit with yourself, think about why you want to quit and just write them down, like write the notes that why, the reason that you want to quit smoking and figure out what changes you can make in your own habits to help you avoid smoking. For example, it can start by uh, not buying a lighter anymore, uh, you know, like buying fewer, uh, like less um, cigarettes a day, start by smoking one cigarette a day, anything that will help you that, uh, you know, uh, take this change and uh, avoid smoking basically, okay? Also just for example, Sometimes people smoke because they're bored or they're just frustrated. Frustrated. So whenever you feel like you know you're frustrated, you're stressed, you can you can do other things. Uh, you can do some meditation. You can go for a walk. You can uh, eat something small like a nice healthy snack. Okay, there are so many other alternatives than just you know uh, smoking. So always prepare your mind and body. Sit with yourself. Write down what are the things that will help me. Uh, quit smoking and try to follow these things. Uh, B, make a list of some reasons to quit smoking. For example, I want to stay healthy for my family. I want to reduce my risk of getting cancer. I want to set a good example for my children. There are so many other uh, reasons, Diane, that might be really beneficial uh, for you and that you need to really write down. 
So if you have other um, other ideas, um, please please go ahead and share them on the chat. Maybe it can actually help someone else also here. Um, like you know, other reasons not only for your family, not for you know having chronic diseases or cancer or set a good example for my children. It might be just because I want to save money. It might be um, I don't know other things like you have your this chest pain all the time. So there are so many reasons, but of course each person has his um, have of course their own reason for that. Now, um, C, choose the right time. Okay, this is very important. So you need to be aware of your triggers, okay? Triggers are things that make you want to smoke and might include your social environment, stress from your job, sitting in traffic, or routine activities like watching TV. So make sure that before you, you decide that, uh, okay, I'm going to stop smoking, that you're not going to pick a day that is likely to have um, a trigger in it, you know? So always try to choose a day that is less stressful for you than a work day or just any other day that you're going out with your friends, drinking alcohol, or I don't know, socializing. Make sure you're, you're in the right mindset and uh, you're feeling good about yourself, you're confident. You don't need to just like after this uh, presentation, you're gonna go and you're like, okay, خلاص, I'm gonna quit smoking today, just right now. Now, of course, I'd be more than happy if you do that, but you need to also be in the right mindset, prepare your body and your mind, as we mentioned before, okay? And choose a day that uh, really you can avoid any trigger. You can also write down your triggers. Just be, be aware, be mindful of what are your triggers, okay? Some people, for example, uh, their trigger of uh, smoking can be food, for example, after food. Some people can be stressed. Okay, a lot of people, uh, they like to go out, they party, they have to smoke. So just try to figure out what is your trigger and write it down and try to avoid going to these places if you're really willing on stopping, you know, uh, uh, nicotine and tobacco. Uh, fourth um, tip I would like to give you is state your intention. So tell your friends and family about your quit date. Okay, just put... Uh, write down your quit date. It can be, for example, three months from now or a month from now. It can be tomorrow, next week, whenever you guys want. Just write it down and just tell your friends and family about your quit date so that it really becomes real and you're not going to let them down once you really um, get to this date. Okay. Also, ask them to understand what you need to change, uh, that you need to uh, ask them to understand that you need to change your habits. Okay, so in that, in that way, they won't smoke in front of you anymore. They will understand that you're trying to quit and, um, you know, and uh, you, will, you will not relapse into your old habits. So always ask them to understand if you don't want, if they want to, for example, to go to a, a pub or a party place, for example, just tell them, I'd rather, I'd rather stay home, uh, order in or go to a restaurant without you know, uh, and we can sit in the non-smoking section, just anything, any alternative that will help you change your habits. Also, ask them to be understanding if you are not your best after quitting or if you slip, it's totally normal, guys, okay? We are human at the end of the day. Uh, these are some habits that it will take some time and you will not just achieve your goal in a day or two or, you know, in a month. You will have some days that you will slip, you will have some days when you will be moody, you will be angry, it's totally normal, but you need to, you know, like um, understand yourself and also make sure that other people understand you at the same uh, time. Also, quitting is a journey, not an event. Okay, so you will have some days that you will be really sticking to this and some days where you will slip. So it's, an, it's ups and downs, just like life in general. So yeah so this is it okay just always write everything down talk to your family talk to your friends make sure that you really take good care of your health okay because your body is the only place that you live in forever so if you're not taking good care of your home your health your body who's gonna go take take care of it food and food alone is not enough guys uh, exercising um exercising alone is also not enough it's a whole thing it's a whole package your health you need to invest in it and it's a lifestyle at the end of the day. 
Also, change your environment. So get rid of all your lighters, your ashtrays, and other smoking gear, including cigarette packs, before you quit your quit date. Okay, so you need to start slowly, slowly um, getting rid of all these things. Also, try eating sugar-free candy or chew gum instead of having a cigarette on some of your breaks. Sometimes, you know, um, you're just used to taking a break during, for example, working hours, you go down, you smoke. So instead of doing that, you can still go down, you can still go for a walk, but don't smoke. You can just eat gum, eat small piece of candy, some dates, um, fruits, okay, all these can really help. Also, go for a walk outside and avoid high risk trigger locations, as we mentioned. Okay, so always take a walk whenever you feel like the urge or the need to smoke. And change your routine, as we mentioned. It's very, I know, like it's easier said than done, but you can, you can do it. I believe in you and you need to believe in yourself. That's all that matters. Um, okay, so in the end, the key word is balance. Find the right balance that works for you. Celebrate your successes and don't dwell on your failures. Live and work, but don't forget to play, to have fun in life and really enjoy it. Remember, you are in control of your life choices and you only live once, so make the most out of it. This is very important and I just wanted to share that with you, just some positivity. And uh, this is my email and my Insta in case you, you guys would like to send me any questions. I'd be more than happy to answer you. And I would just want to also mention one thing here. Um, some products of Forever, because I know a lot of people ask me, what products can we take, um, you know, if, if I want to stop smoking or that can actually help, you know, as an antioxidant, because whenever you smoke, you know, like there are lots of oxidation, uh, bad things that can happen to your body. So what can you uh, take or drink? Uh, in general, so I would re uh, recommend, of course, the aloe berry nectar can really help. Uh, absorbency, very important because it can help produce more collagen, as you know, of the vitamin C inside. Because whenever you smoke, uh, whenever you smoke, uh, you, are, you are actually losing collagen. So also the super greens, uh, in general, as it contains so many superfoods and antioxidants. And RG plus, aloe vera gel, as we mentioned, and yeah, garlic thyme can also help. So now go ahead, guys. You can ask me all your questions. And Garcinia can also help. Yeah, because Garcinia is actually an appetite suppressant. Um, you know, it's the first time I actually hear that it can help with uh, smoking if you want to stop smoking. But yeah, why not? If you tried it and you have uh, a, a positive feedback, then yeah, we can share it also. We can add it to the list. Any questions, guys? So go ahead, ask me anything you'd like, even if it's uh, about other products that we didn't mention uh, today or something that you'd like to know. Okay, please repeat product to help, yes. So I recommend the aloe berry nectar, okay, because it's good for blood circulation. Also, I recommend um, the absorbent C because it contains uh, vitamin C, which helps produce collagen. Because when we're, whenever we're smoking, we're uh, we're losing collagen. I also recommend uh, super greens. It has so many superfoods inside that you can mix it with your. Um, smoothies and um, what else did we mention? Yeah, uh, also you just any any product that has you know antioxidants in it. Usually, it really helps with uh, smoking. Just to reduce actually uh, you know the toxins from your body to help clean the the whole body from um, oxidative stress. We have a question. Can we mix super green, uh, super greens with RG? Um, you can do that, yes, of course, with water. Um, just make sure that the, the taste is good because I've never tried it before. Another question. Please advise on good dietary supplement for psychiatric patients who is taking medications as well. Um, okay, so in that case, it depends. We need to be more specific because each um, 
each uh, medication can actually have a different interaction with supplements. So in that case, uh, they need to always check with their doctor first, okay, before taking any supplement. And usually it depends, like if they want something general, they can take the forever daily, it's a multivitamin, also it has some minerals inside. They can also drink the aloe vera gel, just make sure that they ask their doctor first, so that there's no interaction, okay? And always make sure that the interval of time in between the two products is, um, you know, like around one hour to two hours. We have another question. If I know meditation is, of course, uh, meditation is very important, especially for people who try uh, to quit smoking. It will really help you to stay focused, to take good care. You know, like everything you take, you do in, in life, it all starts in your mind, okay? So if you really um, train your mind to be strong, to take good care of your body and to quit smoking, it can really help, okay? So meditation is perfect. It, it can keep you healthy, it can keep you strong in your mind, it can keep you mindful, uh, so I recommend it. Please advise, I have high uh, bad cholesterol and high blood pressure. Okay, so for high cholesterol and high blood pressure, of course, it's a lifestyle change. So first, you need to start eating well, uh, healthy. Okay, so reduce animal products for cholesterol and also reduce salt and fried food and fast food for blood pressure. You need to also, uh, you can take some garlic thyme, you can take arctic sea and um, aloe vera gel, RG+. Plus. Okay, all of these can really help. But the most important thing is exercising and food. Another question, um, can, can RG plus be taken with high blood pressure patients? Um, yes, usually they can, okay, there's no problem. Just low blood pressure, it's better to avoid the RG plus. Another um, question, can a patient with high blood pressure, sugar and kidney take forever royal jelly? Sugar and kidney. Uh, usually, yes. Now, for kidney disease in general, it depends what do they have exactly. Because if they only have a stone or if they're doing the dialysis, for example, I don't recommend. If they only have a small, you know, uh, kidney uh, disease or if it's acute, then it's fine. Just make sure with the, also to double check with the doctor. But for blood pressure and sugar, yes, they can take the royal jelly, no problem. Another question, which product in Forever is best for fever? So for fever, I usually recommend paracetamol, which is like Panadol, ibuprofen, or just anything, uh, just a medication, you know, to reduce the fever. So our products are not medications, guys, okay? Our products are nutrition supplements that can help with your health in general. So I don't really can recommend anything for fever uh, because it would be a medical thing. Another question, how to control myself? What do you mean how to control yourself? With what? for smoking or what. I gave you some tips that you can follow and you need to, you know, really commit to yourself, um, train your mind to be stronger, to really quit smoking, okay? It's all in your mind and you can start slowly, slowly by reducing, for example, two cigarettes a day, then to reducing four, then slowly you will, you will stop needing this urge to, to smoke. So just be patient with yourself, do some meditation, exercise, eat healthy. Okay, any other questions, guys? Another question, what about for muscle pain, any supplement other than external use. Yeah, so for muscle pain, I recommend the Freedom, uh, the Forever Move if you want supplements. And of course, you can just apply the Aloe Heat and the MSN Gel on for external use.
I hope after this presentation that you can actually share it with people you know that smoke and uh, it can maybe affect someone in a positive way and maybe they will actually really quit smoking this time. Um, okay, what should we say to a guy who is smoking for 20 years and is so addicted to it? Okay, you cannot, Yanni, you can start by sharing this presentation first, okay? You can start by stating some facts, as we, as we mentioned, then give him some tips, okay? Some tips on how to start, uh, to stop smoking slowly, slowly. So, um, as I mentioned here, all the tips, you can find them here. So, the first one is mind and body. The second one, make a list of the reason why they should stop. Then also choose the right time. And then state your intentions. Um, also change your environment. So make sure they, they, for example, they remove the lighters, they start taking, you know, healthy supplements. So you just need to give them some tips uh, to help them and motivate them. Also keep on motivating them, but we cannot really like, um, we cannot really, uh, you know, like oblige someone to, to stop smoking if they are not willing uh, to do that themselves like how no no matter how much you're gonna talk to them or what no matter how much you're gonna tell them it's bad for your health they're not gonna listen to you if they're really you know stubborn and they think that it's it doesn't harm them trust me like i've dealt with people like this okay for weight loss who have kidney and sugar issue how to follow forever products program um please be more more specific what do you mean kidney issue and sugar issue and they want to reduce weight so in that case they can take um, like when if, if there's a kidney problem they cannot take weight management supplements okay this is a fact if uh, there's a sugar issue they can take you know the clean line it's fine just make sure uh, they're not on insulin and um, or just the, you know the therm, the aloe vera gel, the herbal tea, all of these can really help. What products would you recommend for muscle weakness? Uh, for muscle weakness, I recommend RG Plus, the Light Ultra, okay, um, just anything that will give you some uh, energy. Also, B12 can help. Just uh, RG Plus is really important for muscle weakness. Okay, also make sure that uh, you're exercising regularly. Another question is, uh, what products would you recommend for pl uh, plater fasciitis? In that case, I recommend Forever Move also and uh, Freedom and just massage it with aloe heat other question uh, can you be available on invitation for our daily webinars in pakistan sometimes as guest speaker no unfortunately i cannot do that um as you know i'm a full time here like in dubai hq so and we're doing webinars uh, as often as possible but thank you all for joining really it means a lot okay kidney medication with high creatinine um how will they lose weight? Kidney medication with high creatinine, how will they lose weight? So for kidney medication, yeah, just let them drink the um, aloe vera gel, just small amount, okay? Uh, also, they can do take the herbal tea, fields of greens, make sure just the exercise, it's more than just supplements, okay? Don't always just focus on supplements and uh, on losing weight in an easy way. You need to also try to exercise, eat healthy, make sure you, you, you reduce some carbs, you, do, you reduce uh, fried foods, fats in general. Of course, not the healthy fat, but I mean the, the unhealthy, the saturated fats, for example. Another question, for sugar patients, as uh, they are not taking insulin, just sugar medication, but quite overweight, which supplement would be helpful? What, they, they needed to lose weight? or they need it for sugar. Because for sugar, they can take, for example, the Arctic sea, uh, the garlic thyme, but if they want to lose weight, okay, for to lose weight, they can take the Garcinia, they can take um, the Therm, and uh, uh, the aloe vera gel, for example, also the herbal tea, or the feeds of greens. All of these can really help. Yeah, the C9 pack can also be, be very helpful for them.
Okay, guys, I think we're going to end the presentation here. Thank you all so much for joining. I will be posting the webinar on YouTube so you can also rewatch it and uh, share it with your team uh, members or just anyone who smokes. Um, and I'll see you very soon. Thank you all for joining. Bye bye.